Hello guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at creating a simple C++ Hello World application. So the first thing you need to do is to go over to visualstudio.com slash downloads and go ahead and download and install the Visual Studio Community Edition. And when you're installing it, just make sure that you include the desktop development with C++ package. Now this is just a normal installer, so when you have finished installing the Visual Studio Community Edition, uh, by the way, it's, it's uh, completely free as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, just open up um, a new, uh, uh, go ahead and open up Visual Studio and we're gonna go up to file new and create a new project and go up here and just make sure you tick uh, Visual C++ and select an empty project. So this will just create a completely empty C++ project for us in which we're gonna type some code. Now as you can see we haven't got any files or anything in this project so we're gonna go ahead and uh, right click source files and click add new item and select the C++ file. Now we're gonna go ahead and rename this to main.cpp and click add. So this will contain the the base code for the application. So we're gonna go ahead and start with including a IO stream. So we're gonna type include IO stream. Now IO stream is the standard input slash output streams library that lets us use the use a C out to print to the console, which we're gonna use to print hello world to the console. Then we're gonna declare the uh, main function is written like this int main and then opening bracket closing bracket now the main function sorry the main function is ran by default uh, and must be declared as a non-member function in the global namespace that means that we have to declare it as we just did so what we're gonna do in the main function since we're just going to create a simple hello world application, what we're going to do is we're going to say std c out uh, less than sign less than sign and then we're just going to say hello world and std E and DL, this means end line, so it will create a new line after this. Now, the STD, this, if you're wondering what this is, this is the, um, a namespace that contains features of the C standard library, which lets us use, the, use and access, for example, vector or strings. So now what we're gonna do after we have printed hello world, if we would run this now, nothing would happen. So what we're gonna say is we're gonna say system pause. And then since this is an int function, we're gonna return an int, which is zero is an int. So we're just gonna return zero. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to build and just click build solution. And this will build the app actual application for us. And now we're we'll up to local Windows debugger and just click it. Now, as you can see, it opens the application for us and it says hello world, press any key to continue. So you can, can just go ahead and close this. So that's just a really simple hello world application in C++. Now, if you wanted to use, for example, strings, let's say you wanted to have a dynamic value here, you could just, for example, we're gonna include the um, string library like that. Then we're gonna use std namespace again. Um, and let's say we got a string called uh, my name. Let's set its value to Yondo. 
and then just go ahead and replace this with my name and go ahead and click local windows debugger click yes to build it and now as you can see we're getting hello uh, john doe in, uh, printed to the console and uh, also instead of using std like this you can uh, uh, tell the application you're using it as namespace and then you could do it like this using uh, namespace std then you wouldn't have to type for example std string when you're using a string you could just do it like this so if i will build it now we're getting the same result so yeah that's how you create a really simple hello world c++ application